Well, honestly, it was a moment of shock and realizing the earthquake was uh, happening again, again in Agadir because of its uh, geological uh, position in uh, the whole Morocco. So the first idea that we had is that it was happening only in Agadir, not uh, in the whole kingdom. What are people doing now? I mean, are people just trying to carry on their daily lives or, or has the city sort of come to a stop worried about aftershocks, for example? No, we, we are still having a moment of aftershock. I mean, uh, uh, we're having a bit of uh, trouble sleeping, but uh, as you know, Moroccans are tough. Uh, we have this sense of solidarity, this sense of, of love, of uh, passion, of jealousy towards each other. So the next, like this, Next morning, literally, people started helping, donating blood, money, uh, aids, buying uh, anything that these people in these villages uh, need because we sort of have no an idea and uh, sort of a map to go uh, to, to reach these villages uh, throughout uh, different uh, roads. So if uh, a road is uh, closed, we know like a short map to, to still get there. Do people feel confident about staying within their homes? I mean, presumably some buildings are, are maybe not as strong as others. If you happen to live in one which particularly perhaps isn't so solid, are, are people happy to, to, to stay inside? No, I think that the problem is only like psychological, like it's uh, it happens, it's going on in our minds, not actually in our houses, the houses are, are fine, like uh, because it's not the center of uh, where the earthquake happened. So the hit wasn't that strong to be able to actually uh, make uh, houses uh, fall. We're talking about an earthquake that happened uh, 60 years ago, of course. There must be some people there, many people there, who still remember exactly what it was like. And, and presumably people such as yourselves are, are talking to them very much about what they remember from the time. Yes, we used to always talk with my family members, my, my grandpa, my uh, grandmother. Uh, we used to always ask them, like, how was the earthquake during the 60s? And uh, there was some infos about, like, info about, like, how the earthquake, like, there was, like, a little shake, but the people ignored it. But the other shake came stronger, and that was the one that caused the 1960 earthquake. So we had these rumors going on in our heads when, 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 like uh, the earthquake happened like uh, two days ago. So we were pretty scared of like, what if a second wave happens? What if it's stronger than the other one? So the issue here or the challenge is to actually uh, be careful and like uh, protect ourselves from uh, fake news, especially uh, based on what happened. Because it's a different city. It's built on different uh, standards and that's what makes us what should make us uh, sure about like nothing bad is going to happen again.